Look at that, we got Usurper. And he goes first. Jan Nerd. He sounds like a Nilf Guardian, isn't he? Is he a bloody Nilf Guardian, guys? Or J Nerd? Stupid nonsense. I always find a way in. Don't buff it. Yes. I'm not sure about usurper as your main leader. What if are you trying to disrupt? Then by stealth. Oh come on, this guy is such a jerk. He wants to give me these four power dudes. <laughs> oh boy. These are excellent to play early on because uh, they're gonna... Your opponent's gonna draw six cards. Oh, How much do these cost? Four or five? Because I would put them in for four, like, every single deck. Hmm. I'm locked up, guys. Say Help me. We should tell him something. I'm gonna tell him, damn it. Yeah, I don't really want to play most of my cards here. These are pretty decent. The only weakness of this deck, from what I can tell, other than me making a uh, ton, ton of mistakes uh, playing it, is uh, that sometimes we get pushed round two, and I'm kind of thinking what should we do about it. Sometimes we just need to use part of our win condition just to defend against that. But sometimes people are just it's really want to win round two, and it's kind of hard to commit like all the long round value generation to round two. Of course, we can save some big units for later. That might give us the win, but it's not our primary win condition. Move a card from your deck to the top if it's a unit boosted by two. Okay. This would be the perfect time to keep playing garbage. But I don't have garbage, do I? The weakest one in my hand is a 6 that has a combo. I think we're just gonna let this go. No 2 points, I can never recover that. Wait, what? Yeah, improvise. Did that work out? <laughs> So, he got rid of all my redraws. Uh, little does he know, I have almost all gold cards. And he used up a card for that. I suppose he plans to play one card. I suppose if you play Usurper, you want to play Leto too, but there's no guarantee you're going to get Leto. So... Well, I guess they am pushing this round at least. Yeah, should be good. The thing is, with Leto, you might get a lot. You might get close to nothing. This time, you're not getting a lot out of it. I'm playing more cards anyway. And that's probably gonna be his uh, pass. Unless he's gonna surprise me. Ah. 
Yeah, we're not gonna throw away anything else. Yep, pretty good. I have no mulligans. Terrible. Why? Give me the third one first! Why you? You should have beat the first one. <laughs> this is bullshit. Well, we just gotta hope that uh, the game's not gonna be decided on that. Wait, what? I don't have my hero power. I need to be damn careful. Uh, we're gonna play Avalak. You will see it. Dream. I think a little bit sucks. Nah, the, the, the limit is okay. But perhaps if you have a limit, and you reach the limit, when you have like one and card to draw, you choose out of the three cards you draw, and you just put the rest in the graveyard. That, that would be a good way to eliminate some of the RNG. I don't know. Maybe, does that sound too good? I don't think it's too good. At least they gotta figure out some way to prevent people from playing their cards just because they're gonna yes. redraw. Keep that. So we can hit with Yankon. We can play the Neckers in the back. Now the question is, do we play the Neckers in the back? And then we play Imbredet. Yeah. I just play Imbredet first. Okay, maybe he's gonna live, guys. He's gonna be fine. Is Imbred gonna be fine, guys? He has eight cards. Is Imbred gonna be fine? Who's who's taking the bet? What's the chance that he's not gonna get locked, killed, or whatever? Alba! Apparently, pretty high. He's fine. <laughs> So we can deal 8 damage now, which is crazy. Let me go with that. Then that. Uh, I don't think Mr. Alba was that good. That looks bad. That looks really bad for you. Might as well play those. Then we gotta play Siri Dash. Looks like this guy is out of uh, answers. Yeah, that's bigger than mine. Okay, I don't think we're gonna clear his entire board, but uh, it does look okay. Here's our chance. Mm. 
I have nothing to copy. I kind of messed up with uh, Karen to you. But it doesn't matter. GG. Okay. Uh, hey there. Sure, that looks fine to me. Kraken Crate, who's a cult classic, uh, named Fedlin. He, he likes the nickname uh, Fedlin. I can't blame him. <laughs> I, I GG nobody now. I changed, guys. In the in the open beta, in, in previous Gwent, I GG'd everybody. Even those who roped me, spam demotes, whatever. I GG'd every single one of them. Now, I GG nobody. Times have changed, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yep. But gotta be said, if I... If I haven't noticed the GG button yet, maybe they don't have it in the right place. <coughs> Them itself and an enemy by one. Two down two. I'm crazy. Yeah, hit that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I lead in points. I can destroy the ship. Okay. I don't really want to play for very long here. If you can take out the greatsword, that would be nice. I'm a little... Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> Surprised that they just <laughs> changed a lot of guys. Now the great swords are the uh, X-Men. And the ships are the bears. So I can play this for six. But that's not a lot. And after that, what kind of follow-up I have? Nothing. So, I'm just gonna let him have it. Yeah, GG. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mogwai complained about the GG button placement as well. I don't complain about it. I just don't see it and don't press it. Easy. What GG button? I think we learned something, guys. I'm good-mannered, as long as it's convenient. Yeah, that's stupid. They are mixing skills of certain cards, like Albrick is now Skellen, used to be. Great sword as X-Men, etc. I don't think it's a long run in the long run it's gonna matter too much, but it's just like why? <laughs> Does it really fit better with the roll lower or whatever? I don't know. Yep. Does it make more sense or they just change it for no reason? Because it kind of feels like they change it for no reason. There's a free reward by pressing the GG button. Wait, what? You get a reward for pressing the GG button? If I if I had an option to automatically GG people, I would turn it on. You shan't get three! Well, let's just play this guy. This is clearly a weak link in my uh, team. Whenever an adjacent unit takes damage, boosts up by one. How does this work? Damage only by the one if you control the highest unit, damage by three instead. When you play the riders, they trigger every time. The highest seems to mean 
highest. Well, if you have equal or higher, that's that's what it means. So if you have at least as much as your opponent, it triggers. But the Vault Hunt Hunt seem to mean you have to have more than your opponent. For the rider, it's equal or higher. So... What's up, game? Make up your mind. Hey, John. I got so much gold from the gold card every keg day. I don't need no GG rewards. Uh, I know how you feel. There is no escape. At that day, I spent all, all I earned on gold cards. I think it's worth it. Pass. Sure. Really good draws there. 2 1 1. Not you. Okay. What about you? Nah. Okay, here we go. That's a decent hand. We can make that work. Crack and crates. There is no escape. Okay. Immune Yen for Conjurer. Probably not gonna die. Perfect hat hand pretty much yeah if you're gonna lose with this hand then we have no chance whatsoever um, how many counters I have to that okay uh, we're gonna destroy it should I destroy it he probably has a sig sigil I can place another value generator on the board like Imbralit I'm gonna destroy that. He's like, mm, what up? Okay, he's gonna play Sigil. No, he has more spears, of course. So at this point, uh, we can save that. So he doesn't have a target with Sigil. This is a very interactive game right now. Oh, look at that! See, heal! How surprising! This artifact. No! Yeah, I think they need oh, to change God! the artifacts. If I hit that, actually, I'm doing him a favor. I can't. Well, not like this. I just cleaned that up. Very interactive gameplay, guys. He has one spear. I have some stuff that gets hit by the spear. That's it. <laughs> Come on. He's gonna cheese with that. shouldn't hit that. If I hit that, he's just gonna copy it for free. This way he actually has to hit it himself. Damage an ally to the left by one. If there is no ally, damage himself by one instead. He 
who does not like Sir Dash. Well, at least we can hit the bear. It's a pretty late Sabat. There's not much I can do. There's a lot of interacting going on. Yeah, I, I can tell. Oh boy. This bot is getting destroyed. But we had to play him. There's no way. We don't have enough time to give him immune. Well, I don't want to hit that. This is a weird fight. I don't want to hit that. I think we're gonna put down the you will see it. the immune. So this could s help us actually have a card draw. Sabat is gonna die, but our card draw is secure. Uh, we can hit the bear. I think we shut down Sigil. Huh? It would have been nice earlier. Doesn't really matter too much right now. Yeah, this is very weak to getting removed. But if it doesn't, then it's just infinite value generation. It looks like a deck uh, Life Coach was playing earlier. Wouldn't surprise me. You can basically trade one damage for three points. Oh, look at that! Entire row buff. Case. Here's an Igni. I can get one more. Oh, uh, Drummer Queen's Guard. Is that an Igni? Gods, not a moment's pace. Whoa, buff everything by two. Does hit me for a little bit. Okay. Lame. If he had a counter to the other Queen's Guard, super GG. He has no chance. But this way he had some chance. But well done.